Hello there, here are my top 3 favourite builds to use versus robots. Number 1 is a good all around loadout, allowing you to deal with almost every enemy type when it comes to automatons. The support weapon is the railgun, since it goes through armour and has a precise hitbox allowing you to hit smaller weak spots with ease, and landing headshots with this just feels good. Now for defence, the number 1 pick is still the shield generator. It will keep you alive more than you will notice, and it blocks those annoying rockets that send you flying straight into a hole. Then we have the eagle air strike which is used for killing groups of enemies, shutting down fabricators and just basically blowing anything up. They have a short cooldown and the rearm time isn't bad either. For the final stratagem I use the orbital 380mm barrage for when you're going up against much bigger groups, you need to clear out the evac or you need that extra firepower to take over an objective. When it comes to modules you want the following. Donation access license is a must for the railgun but I mean almost everyone unlocks this module as their first one. Then you'll want exploding shrapnel so that your orbital barrage won't just tickle the enemies, liquid ventilator cockpits and pit crew hazard both help the eagle stratagem insanely allowing you to have shorter cooldowns and faster rearm times. Of course, the more modules you have, the better. These recommendations are for those people that aren't too sure what to spend their samples on yet. The second build was a blast to use, even though it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. It's based on the ballistic shield. So, your first stratagem will of course be the ballistic shield backpack. This is the main tool of this build, providing excellent cover from the enemy fire and it gives you an extremely different way to approach the game. You no longer need to run from cover to cover, but now you simply walk straight through the open field while opening fire. The ballistic shield does come with some drawbacks. You can only shoot with one-handed weapons like sidearms or submachine guns like the SMG 37 Defender. Your biggest weakness is explosives so I'd recommend using an armor set with explosive resistance. The rest of the stratagems are just pure destruction. You'll be using the orbital railgun to take care of any big enemies in your way like hulks, tanks or those annoying gun towers. The orbital 380mm barrage to clear out bigger hordes of enemies or just wipe out a large fabricator area and finally the orbital 120mm rocket pods to help with those smaller groups but it still packs a punch to any enemy with armor. The modules I would recommend are exploding shrapnel since you're only really using orbitals, more guns for extra firepower on the 380mm and 120mm, and finally 0G breach loading allowed for shorter cooldowns so that you can dispense democracy more often. The third and final build is a sentry based build so that unlike the other two you can stay a bit further away from the enemies while still absolutely wiping out anything the game throws at you. To start off you'll need the rocket sentry since they're the best at killing the Star Wars scout walkers. Then the auto cannon sentry for its amazing damage to armored enemies so basically every enemy you'll be facing when fighting bots. Now for the wombo combo. The HMG emplacement so that you can control the fire and kill everything in front of you but when paired with the shield generator relay it makes you become the terminator. At this point you don't care what shoots back at you since it won't touch you but the second that shield breaks you're kind of cooked. You can also place the shield generator around your other turrets to keep them alive for longer. The modules you want are shock absorption gel so that all your sentries have more ammo and kill more enemies, synthetic supplementation for lower cooldowns on all sentries, advanced construction for more HP on all sentries. I'll be honest, if the module says it helps sentries just buy it, they're all really good and help a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you end up trying any of these builds let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed them or you change something to make them better. A like always helps a lot, and if you decide to subscribe, you'll make me happy. Have a good day, see you in the next one.